What's up guys, it's Full Snack Developer here and this is part two of Intro to Web Development. So in the previous video we talked about um, uh, setting up a development environment, uh, we got a text editor, uh, and we got set up with MAMP. Um, but in this video, um, actually, <clears throat> to get your first um, website going, you don't actually need MAMP. We're just going to show you the basics of HTML here. And, uh, and then we're going to get into some more complex stuff in later tutorials. So uh, let's bust open our text editor here. Um, I'm using Sublime here. It doesn't matter what you're using. But um, yeah. Um, so let's get started. We're going to start off with a new file. Just um, command N. We're going to save this as index.html. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And uh, I call it index. <clears throat> because uh, when a when a uh, website gets uh, served up to a browser, um, it always serves uh, index uh, the file called index first. Um, so that's why I called it that. Um, and yeah, so that's all you need to do to get started. We are gonna write our first bit of HTML here. We're gonna start with an alligator bracket. And now this um, is is the doc type. Now this basically. Um, is the first thing that the um, the browser is going to read, and it just it just tells it um, what kind of um, what kind of HTML it's running. Uh, this is the standard for uh, HTML5. Um, you don't have to worry about um, other versions because this is the new standard. So this is just telling the browser we're using HTML, <clears throat> so um, so that it can style properly. Uh, so now. Um, uh, this is not a tag, uh, just for reference, this is not a tag, this is just um, basically an indicator for the, uh, for the browser to know. Um, we're going to start with uh, our first tag, which is HTML. So this um, is a tag, and it's what HTML is basically um, comprised of. Um, uh, opening and closing tags. Now, th these are called elements, um, they're also called tags. Uh, those are basically the two term uh, two terms that are used for these, um, and uh, and you'll hear me using them a lot. So this is an open tag. This is a closed tag, um, and it's a closed tag because it has this um, forward slash in front of it. Um, so yeah, so basically we've opened it up. We've said we wrapped the entire thing in an HTML tag. So <clears throat> we're going to um, we're going to write uh, another tag here. It's called the head tag. Now this is going to be at the top. Of basically um, every um, every uh, web page, uh, and this information doesn't get displayed on on the uh, actual like browser uh, as far as any kind of visual component. Um, this is basically going to be where metadata goes, um, kind of setting the precedence for uh, like what um, and how to deal with um, the website where you can put extra information in and all kinds of things. So um, an example of that, we're gonna put title as a tag. Um, if you're wanting to know uh, anything about all of these tags that I'm using, you can go to html.com and there'll be, you know, slash tags and it'll have a list of all of HTML5 tags. Um, you're gonna wanna get pretty well versed in them because that is what web development is all about. So in this one, I'm just going to say um, my first oops, uh, first website. Yeah, we're getting tacky. Um, and we're going to leave that. Okay. So then after that is, is the body tag. Now this is where all of the actual visual <clears throat> information and content and components and everything is going to go that actually uh, shows up in the browser. So... Um, let's, let's just start out by using an H1 tag, the header one tag, and we're going to say, uh, my first website, oh, forgot to capitalize the F, um, there we go, uh, so my first website, we're going to save this, now, um, like I said, you don't have to have MAMP running or anything, um, to, to, uh, run your HTML, all you have to do is double click it, and it's going to automatically open up in your browser, and as you can see here, there it is, my first website. Technically, you have just created your first website, and it is entirely useless and completely ugly, but this is the absolute from scratch basic website. Um, so <clears throat> let's get into this a little bit more. Um, 
one of one of the most common tags elements um, that's used in web development is called the div. Um, <clears throat> so basically, uh, HTML is is essentially um, a bunch of boxes. Uh, so um, I'll show you what I mean um, in the <clears throat> in the browser here. I'm just gonna save this. Um, I'm gonna come over here. I'm in Chrome, um, and I'm gonna just go Command Alt C, and that's gonna bring up my Dev Tools, my console. Um, and as you can see here, this is our HTML that we we're talking about before here. So, um, like I was saying, we have our head, our head element here, and our title tag uh, or our title element within it. Um, and that my first website, um, don't get confused, is not displaying here. I'll, I'll show you. Um, if I change, uh, you know, our our H1 here to uh, this is this. Oh, not all. This is um my first website we save that we refresh and you can see here um it changed there um <clears throat> sorry in the console here in the header tag oh, um in the header tag says my first website still and that is displaying up here in the tab uh you can name um you can name the tab here by uh changing the information in the title tag so like i said this information isn't showing up within um, the browser window itself here, but um, it's getting transferred into um, a different spot. So as you can see, when you hover over, uh, it shows up there as well. Um, so, like I was saying, uh, elements box are, are like boxes. Um, so you can see here we have an H1, let's call it an H1 box. Um, the terminology is usually, like I said, element or tag, but I'm just saying box to as an example because um, this H1 box uh, is um, is wrapped around this is my first website text. So basically, you can think of it as a box, and whatever's inside uh, or in between these two tags, opening and closing, is the contents of the box. Um, so it's showing up as a blue box there um, on on the in the browser. Um, now you don't have to worry about uh, the orange the orange spacing that is uh, this default CSS that the browser um, the browser puts on by default, <clears throat> um, and we'll get into that later. But um, for now, the blue box is what we're talking about. It's it's the box with this text in it. Now you can see here I have this div box element, um, but it's it's empty. It doesn't have anything inside of it, and so therefore it doesn't display anything in the browser. Um, it does have a width of 1500 pixels, but it has zero height, therefore it doesn't show anything. So let's flip back to our text editor here. Um, and now let's put something inside the div box. So we're just going to cut, um, and then we're going to paste inside of it. We're going to save. We're going to refresh, and nothing, ha nothing visually changed. But if we come over into our our, uh, our our console here, you can see that in our body tag we now have a div tag, and inside the div tag, um, <clears throat> the div element we have our h1. We have our h1 element. Um, so now, as you can see, we hover over the div. You can see now it has the containing, um, the containing area um, of the uh, the H1 tag. So basically, now that the um, the H1 element is inside the the uh, the div element, um, it now expands to be the same size as that. Um, so that's essentially. Um, HTML and what what happens is you can you can embed uh, as many elements as you want inside of them. Um, I'm gonna make a note here, uh, just a little side um, side note, that when you open up a tag, um, you you must close it uh, before opening another one. Um, so basically, if I open this div tag, um, I'm opening this, and then I open this one, I cannot close. <clears throat> Um, actually, that's not a good example because of the same. Um, let's say uh, H, H, oh, let's say H2. Oh wow, um, H2. There we go. Um, so if I open this H2 tag, I cannot close it after opening an H or uh, uh, a div tag. So um, you can see here that this does not work because um, I have opened a div tag without closing it yet. So um, what would work is I could um, have this closing tag go around the entire thing, 
Um, <clears throat> but I cannot have it close uh, before this this uh, this H1 closes. So that's just a little, or sorry, div closes. Um, that's just a little tip about opening and closing tags. Um, you cannot open one uh, before closing another one. Um, so a uh, little note on on um, on terminology. Uh, this would be considered the parent of the H1 element, uh, and this would be considered its child. Um, just like this div element would be the child of this body tag, and this body tag would be the parent. Um, you can also, um, you know, uh, embed as much as you like. We're going to get into the purpose um, of of wrapping elements and styling them differently, uh, but this would work <clears throat> because this this uh, this element opens, this element opens, this element closes. You can have completed closed elements within other elements. Um, but they have to be closed first, and then you can uh, close the uh, the other element around it. So, um, yeah, that's the basics of uh, HTML. We're gonna get into uh, you know navigation and styling, and you know all the other different types of tags uh, in um, other tutorials. I, you know what? I can show you a quick couple ones um, uh, in this in this episode here. So this is an A tag. Um, let's say we give it, uh, um, you can give it a link to, let's say, Google. Um, and then within this tag, so <clears throat> these are called uh, attributes. We're going to get into those more. Um, so uh, it's called a, <clears throat> um, a hyperlink reference. Um, and then in here, well, let's just say goo Google. Um, we're going to save that, refresh. Uh, and now you can see here, it says Google. We click on that. It's going to take us to google.ca.com. I'm in Canada, so it automatically did that. Let's go back here. Um, yeah, there's a, a bunch of different um, of elements. We're going to get into them more in other tutorials. Um, I'm just showing you some quick examples here before we uh, before we put an uh, put an end to this video. Um, so yeah. Uh, buttons, um, a tags, um, other, uh, other text, <clears throat> text elements and stuff like that. We'll get into it more. Um, but, uh, this has been, um, the basics to HTML. We're going to get into it more in other tutorials. Uh, so I'll see you guys, uh, in the next videos.